On an October morning in 2025, Chinese state television, CCTV, aired a broadcast that stunned military analysts around the world. Sitting in the studio was Li Chao, a veteran pilot of the People's Liberation Army Air Force. He recounted a close encounter with two foreign stealth aircraft. According to Li Chao, he was flying his J-16, a heavy, twin-engine fighter, powerful, but nowhere near as stealthy as America's F-22s or F-35s. He claimed he didn't just see them on radar, he said he got so close he could see the American pilot's face. Li Chao described an impossible scene. At just 10 to 15 meters, he flipped his J-16 upside down above the American jet, canopy to canopy then rolled away after scoring radar locks on both aircraft. They turned back, he said, and since then, those jets haven't returned near our coast. And the strangest part? The United States said nothing. Not a denial. Not a word. Just silence. And then came the twist. This encounter didn't happen in 2025. It happened a year earlier, over the East China Sea, in 2024. The broadcast wasn't just a story, it was a message, released exactly when Beijing wanted the world to hear it. The story exploded online. Chinese outlets called it proof that the ghost in the sky can bleed. But there was a problem, a gaping, blinding hole in the evidence. No radar tapes, no telemetry, no gun camera footage, just one interview and one very proud pilot. In Washington, reporters asked for a comment. The Pentagon followed its golden rule, never confirm or deny anything related to stealth operations. And that silence, that quiet void, was exactly what Beijing wanted. Within hours, Chinese state media looped the footage worldwide. Headlines screamed, J-16 defeats stealth fighters. Millions watched. Allies in Japan and Australia wondered, can America still protect us? It wasn't a dogfight anymore. It was an information war. And for the first time, China looked like it had landed the first punch. But the reality was nothing like what the headlines claimed. If Li Chao's claim was even half true, it meant a four and a half generation jet just outplayed two of the most advanced stealth fighters in existence. Jets with radar signatures as small as 0 0.00015 square meters, about the size of a small bird. That shouldn't be possible. So experts asked a deeper question. The one that turns this whole story upside down. What if those American jets wanted to be seen? Because hidden inside this silence may be a US countermove so subtle it fooled not only the Chinese pilot, but the world. To understand what really happened that day, we need to talk about a strange, round object most people have never heard of. A device so simple it can fool an entire radar network. The Lunaberg lens is a polished radar reflector. A clear sphere, about the size of a basketball, fitted to the surface of stealth aircraft during non-combat patrols. Its purpose? To make an invisible jet suddenly look big and bright on enemy radar. Without it, an F-35's radar cross-section, roughly a small bird. With it attached, the same plane can appear as large as an old F-15 or even a cargo jet. Why would anyone make their stealth jet visible on purpose? Because when a stealth jet flies near an adversary's coast, it risks giving away the secrets of its design. Every radar pulse the enemy collects helps them learn the jet's real signature. So, pilots attach these reflectors to create false data. The enemy's radar computers record a completely fake image, a ghost wearing a mask. If Li Chao's J-16 radar showed two giant returns that day, he probably wasn't seeing the F-35's real stealth form. He was seeing the illusion the United States wanted him to see. That changes everything. It means Li Chao didn't beat American stealth. He celebrated a victory over a decoy signal, carefully planted for him to find. From Washington's point of view, the perfect outcome was silence. Let the propaganda spread. Let Beijing boast. Meanwhile, the true radar profile of the F-35 stays secret. That's why the Pentagon didn't rush to deny the story. Confirming or correcting it would only help China know which data were real. No public telemetry or gun cam footage has been released, strongly suggesting America played dead and won an intelligence war by doing nothing. But there's still a catch. 
Even if Li Chao locked onto a false radar return, one detail of his story still raises alarms. He said he came within 15 meters of an American stealth jet, close enough to see the pilot's eyes. At that range, radar stealth means nothing. What matters is heat. The J-16 carries an infrared search and track system, or IRST. Unlike radar, it doesn't send out signals. It simply listens for heat. And no matter how advanced a stealth coating is, it can't hide the fire of a jet engine. At close range, the F-35's massive exhaust plume would glow like a torch. So even if the radar lock was fake, the J-16 could still track the heat signature, confirming that the jet was there. That part of Li Chao's story might be true. Not because of Chinese radar magic, but because of simple physics. This leads to the next revelation. China isn't trying to beat stealth with one pilot's skill. It's building a web of sensors, a long-wave radar network that can see what shortwave systems miss. And that, more than the pilot's barrel roll, is what really threatens America's air dominance. To understand the real danger, you have to zoom out. This was never about one pilot. It was about a network, a system designed to hunt the invisible. China's long wave trap. China's defense strategy is built on something called the Integrated Air Defense Network, thousands of sensors working together across land, air, and sea. At the heart of this system are long wavelength radars, like the JY-27A and JY-27V. These radars use very low frequencies, VHF and UHF bands, with waves so long that stealth shaping can't completely hide from them. Stealth aircraft like the F-35 are optimized to deflect short, high-frequency radar waves. But when those longer VHF waves hit, they don't bounce the same way. They bend, scatter, and sometimes reveal a faint shimmer of the jet that shouldn't exist. Each radar alone can't track a stealth jet precisely. But together, linked with AWACS aircraft, naval destroyers, and ground stations, they can triangulate a target's position over hundreds of kilometers. This creates what analysts call a system of systems kill chain. In simple terms, it means China doesn't need one radar that sees everything. It just needs a network that sees enough. And that's why the Li Chao story hit so hard. It wasn't just a pilot bragging. It was a symbol of that larger system saying, we can find your ghosts now. But Beijing's biggest success wasn't technical. It was psychological. China knows the US has strict rules about classified missions. If something happens during a stealth patrol, Washington never confirms or denies it. Even though no proof existed, the world was suddenly debating whether America's most advanced jets had been exposed. And that, not the radar lock, was Beijing's real victory. It didn't need to destroy an F-35. It only needed to make people question it. Because once doubt takes root, in allies, in pilots, in Congress, the psychological damage spreads faster than any missile. And yet, deep inside that silence, Washington was already planning its answer. A leap so big, it could rewrite air combat itself. It's called NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance. Not a jet, a mindset. A living network of man, machine, and algorithm built to think faster than any adversary. It doesn't just hide, it adapts. It bends radar, commands AI wingmen, and turns every byte of data into a battlefield advantage. This isn't stealth anymore. It's sentient warfare. Speed no longer means Mach numbers. It means milliseconds. AI co-pilots detect, decide, and strike before a human can blink. China is betting on mass. America is betting on mind. And mind learns faster. Li Chao claimed he saw America's ghosts, but the next generation won't be seen, it won't be heard, it will decide who gets to speak at all. The next time they rise over the East China Sea, they won't just avoid radar, they'll rewrite the laws of it. This isn't stealth anymore, it's dominion. But tell me this, was America's silence caution or a warning? If intelligence now fights faster than instinct, where does the pilot fit in? Does victory belong to the nation with the most planes? or the one that no longer needs pilots. Leave your thoughts below. Your insight shapes the next episode. I'm grateful you've made it this far. Every view, every comment, every debate fuels the next investigation. If you found value here, like, share, and subscribe. Because the future isn't waiting, it's already taking off.